Hi, this is Kent Philly. Thanks for coming back to the Stake Rocket Pool channel. I'm excited to easily and quickly show you how you can stake your Ethereum with Rocket Pool. I've been an active participant in crypto since 2017 and I've learned a lot of lessons on what not to do. And by following these simple steps, you can learn how to have an up only token in Ethereum terms by staking your ETH with Rocket Pool. So let's jump in. Now, as I share my screen, I'm first going to highlight, and let me zoom in a bit, you know, a guide that Zerion created. Zerion is a very helpful site that helps, you know, track your uh, tokens and your NFTs to let you have a view of your wallet and your assets. So this is just a seven minute article. And, you know, those who are new to staking Ethereum, in essence, it's like a dividend for an equity but it's locking up your Ethereum so that you can secure the network and you can earn the risk-free rate of return. So like they say, the idea is simple. You stake ETH and you get more ETH for validating transactions on the blockchain. So what are your options to stake ETH? Now, if you're a techie or you've been in the industry for a long time and you believe that Ethereum will be around for a long time, you might stake on your own. I run an Ethereum validator. A lot of other... Um, investors do this themselves who have been in for quite some time, or they do it through a third party service provider like Figment or All Nodes, or um, they, and that's that staking as a service option. Um, so you still need 32 Ethereum to run a full node. Now, Ethereum picked 32 Ethereum because they wanted to have a high enough value threshold so that, you know, not anybody could you know stake and there'd be enough of a you know claim for assets in each node that they would have enough risk at hand um and while still being able so enough risk at hand that they would be locking up to secure the network they would they don't want to make it just one eth um they wanted to have a higher threshold um and they in the ethereum community work on these comparative thresholds so how much technology do you need to have versus how many assets do you need to have to secure the network? And so projects like Solana, um, they have really enterprise grade technology. So it's up on the higher end, but you need very little Solana to you know, be able to stake. Um, now to be a validator, you that's very hard to do because you'd have to have a data center and cutting edge technology versus with Ethereum, you just need about 10 to 20 uh, megahertz of Wi-Fi and a little device, even like a Raspberry Pi that I have here in my hand. And then you can run a Ethereum validator, but you do need 32 Ethereum. Um, you know, 32 Ethereum today is going for, one moment around you know, 56 to $60,000. So it's a lot of money for most people who can't do it. So the other options um, is a pooled liquid staking token. So this is for individuals who don't have enough Ethereum. You, know, you don't need 32 with Rocket Pool. You only need 16 and soon it's gonna be eight. So that launch just was released on Friday, which is really exciting. It's called the Atlas Upgrade. But in essence, you just need eight Ethereum and then some RPL tokens, and then you can launch your own validator. So you don't need 32. You just need a quarter of that. Today, most people who run in a rocket pool node like myself, when you have 16 Ethereum locked up, many people who are smaller investors, you know, they can stake any amount at any time by choosing a staking pool. Now, um, this isn't now going into the difference between centralized and decentralized. We'll go over that next here. Um, Zerion's article highlights, you know, the Ethereum staking platforms with liquid staking tokens. And so Rocket Pool does that. So Rocket Pool adds value by decreasing the barrier for how much ETH you have to have to be a solo validator while also creating a liquid staking token that's decentralized. And so the largest competitor in the space is Lido. Um, but the issue with Lido is it's not decentralized. It uses a curly curated list of node operators. Um, and those are large individuals. So it's the largest because it had no cap on how quickly they could grow, but it's not the most decentralized or necessarily the best for you. You have to pick what's best for you. So 
What I really like we're highlighting here is Rocket Pool. Rocket Pool lets anyone run a validator. And that's huge being permissionless. Rocket Pool is just like Ethereum that it's permissionless. Anyone can enter the network or leave the network whenever they would like. There are no central parties. There's just smart contracts that operate the ecosystem, as well as multiple DAOs that help facilitate the ecosystem. So as I mentioned earlier, Rocket Pool, you just need you know, 16 ETH. You do need 1.6 ETH of RPL. Um, and that is used as collateral against the R ETH that's created when node operators lock up their ETH. So when you lock up 16 ETH, and 1.6 ETH of RPL, you then create 16 R ETH, which is the liquid staking token on the open market. Now the fee can be from five to 20%. It's taken by the node operators for locking up their 16 when you only have to lock up you know, 0.1 ETH, so a lot less. There's another major competitor named Stakewise. And Stakewise is choosing a more decentralized approach. Um, but they just have a little different model on how they go about. So they charge, they charge the same rate as Lido at 10%. Um, but without you know boring you too much, I just wanted to highlight this summary view of Lido, Rockapool for Stakewise. So you, they all have different tickers for their liquid staking token. Um, you can see how much ETH they have staked. You, clearly Lido is the largest here. Um, then how much are they going to charge you if you're buying this liquid staking token? That's what this video is about, showing you how to simply just go to stake.rocketpool.net, take your ETH and turn it into staked ETH. Um, what you can see here is that Rocketpool is currently charging more, 5% uh, more than Lido and Stakewise. Um, and you'd wonder why they're doing that. And that is because there is a premium for the Rocketpool ETH token. Now we have a great site, simplestaker.info, and you can see what is the current price in the market for a RETH token comparative to the, um, the asset value underneath. So if you take the total amount of staked Ethereum, as well as that native asset value, that's what I was looking for, this is comparing the native asset value to the market price. And you can see that people are willing to pay a little bit more, like 0.62% more for Rocket Pool's token because um, they value it more than others in the space, like the Anchor token or the Lido token. So we just were highlighting Lido, Stakewise, and Rocket Pool. And we can see that people are paying more for the Rocket Pool token, even though in this APY schedule, it looks like you're getting paid less. And that is because Rocket Pool has some special features that other competitors don't because they're fully decentralized, because there's not a central party that could take down the ecosystem like Lido, which is having some potential issues as a central party and may have some regulatory issues coming at them from the United States, you know, uh, SEC. But Rocket Pool will have a different experience since it's a permissionless ecosystem and being it permissionless um, it enables you know uh, less regulatory risk as well as ensuring you know that anyone can have confidence that they don't have to worry about you know less than 30 node operators which Lido has but they'd probably choose something that has you know over a couple thousand which is what rocket pool has. So this video has done a bit on how to stake your ETH. What are the different options and what are the native asset prices towards them? So to keep it simple, we're gonna start from the top. And for those who don't have a wallet yet, maybe you're keeping your assets in Coinbase or an exchange, you know, like Bybit, you're definitely gonna need your own non-custodial wallet. MetaMask is a great way to start. You can also get yourself a hardware wallet. I have a couple of those. We'll cover that in another video. But assuming that you have your wallet available, all you have to do is go to this site, stake.rocketpool.net. Now, the fun thing about Web3 is you just connect your wallet to the site. I've read and I accept the terms. Now, I am connecting via my, I won't be able to see it. But I'm connecting via 
I like to use the Frame app on top of the MetaMask wallet because that enables me to be able to have a little bit more control. Depends on how much experience you have in using crypto, um, but I prefer a bit more than less. So this is exciting. I just connected to the site and I do not have enough ETH in my wallet to be able to stake it here, but this is as simple as it gets. All you have to do is take funds, put them in your wallet. When you're on, then once you have the funds in your wallet, you go to stake.rocketpool.net, you connect your wallet like I just did, you put the amount of Ethereum that you'd like to stake. I've done this multiple times before and I just don't have enough ETH ready to stake right now. You select how much you'd like, you'd see how much our ETH you would get, and then you can stake now. You can see the premium that you're paying. They help provide this info for you, showing that one R ETH is equal to 1.07137 ETH. Now, why is one R ETH worth more than one ETH? And that is because of the structure that Rocketpool set up for the R ETH token. The income that comes from the validator rewards of staking are accrued in the liquid staking token. So it's always going up in ETH terms versus with stakewise, it's accrued in a separate token. Lido is also accrued in the same token, but you then have to wrap it to be able to maintain those rewards. Rocketpool has simplified it and gives you those rewards automatically within your token. So as you just hold the RETH, you will be increasing the amount of GUE which is you know, a fraction of Ethereum that you're earning just by holding that ETH and locking it up. Now, another great reason on why you may, why you may want to use Rocket Pool, I got a bit excited there, is that you know, Rocket Pool is the first liquid staking token that is carbon neutral. So this is really exciting. The ClimaDAO um, refi project ClimaDAO is a regenerative finance project that's on working on decreasing you know, carbon emissions using crypto. They came to the Rocket Pool community and asked if they wanted to fund um, paying ahead for carbon emissions that you know, Ethereum has created. ClimaDAO is working to change the way people look at crypto and help ensure that we can fight climate change is they think this is the number one issue facing our generation. But as we come back to our tweet thread here where we can learn, um, you can see that you know the Rockpool community approved paying for offsetting their historical emissions. Um, so helping individual node operators like myself become carbon neutral. Um, and also they're working on finding out how they can you know, pay for it additional automated offsetting emissions via digital carbon. So that is really exciting to see the future of what I think in crypto underpinning a lot of um, future uh, innovation and in not only just in finance, but within our environment and nature itself. And so Rocket Pool is taking the lead and being you know conscientious, ESG friendly is how traditional investors look at this. Crypto, we call it refi. Um, and if you want to dive further into refi, like I did to understand where it comes from, it came about from the concept of regenerative capitalism by this gentleman named John Holterton. He was very successful in traditional finance and then realized due to all the political unrest, the issues that we're having in climate um, and around our country that the focus on just making more money was not going to be a sustainable path for us. And so he writes a whole um, report here. Now they provide trainings and it's really inspired a new group of entrepreneurs with the Gitcoin crowd being one of them. Um, and Kevin Owicki, who gave this great presentation at ETH Denver this past year, talked about the new project that he's working on. And that's called Super Modular. So I just tried to zoom in so you could see this video. I will share it in the link below. But the idea is that regenerative finance over time improves the environment. Um, a lot of people like to consider those degens. 
if you are a DJ and you take too much risk, so over time, you probably end up with less. And the idea that refi and Kevin Owicki are focused on is something a bit more grandiose. And I will end with this. And this is, you know, a call and a vision that Kevin put out two years ago in 2021 on how things have drastically changed on the internet. And he believes that the internet of money is the fundamental paradigm shift that enables the creation of this infrastructure. And I also agree with that. I'm not just in crypto to, you know, be able to get financial freedom, but I'm also in it to help creators and to help the earth. And so if you want to, you know, simply offset your carbon emissions when you're also earning, you know, Ethereum at a competitive rate by doing nothing in your own wallet, this is the great way to do it. So um, let me know if you have any questions. There are plenty of other solutions out there, but I was really excited to highlight the first Ethereum liquid staking token to be you know, carbon neutral and why and how you can stake your Ethereum with Rocket Pool, uh, liquid staking that is, via the RETH token. Thanks so much. Bye.